Let's continue. Next, we will introduce some if, and also we will introduce xlookup. Um, the function of xlookup is quite similar to vlookup, and it is used to find things in the table and ask Excel to return the information within the table, but in a different column. Um, let's go to the column W first. This column table two asks us to find the total sales for a specific date. Um, that is March the first. Seems the original data has multiple rows. Okay, it has one order for one row. And if we scroll down, we can see that for just one day, uh, we had 44 occurrences, okay, 44 orders. So the task would be, um, let's translate the language. We would like ask Excel to look for information um, in column B to find only the rows that contains March the 1st. And then uh, we would like ask Excel to sum the value in a different column, okay, the column H that contains the total price of that order. To use sum if, I do suggest that you open the handouts and turn to the page that says um, the functions of sum if and also sum ifs. If the differences between these two commands is that sum if only works for um, one criterion, and the sum ifs um, that works in a similar manner, but you can add more arguments and more multiple criteria. Um, for this case, let's just type a equation sign first and do sum if since we only have one criterion. Okay, the criterion for the dates. Okay. The first argument for some if would be the range of cells that we would like e Excel um, to find or to evaluate. Okay. In this case, it will be column B. Okay. Of course, we can always select the exact range say it could be from B2 and to the last row, but also we can just select the column. Okay, now let's separate these two arguments by a comma, and then we are specify the criteria. So the criteria would be, um, we would like Excel to identify the date. Okay, and the date would be corresponding to the cell on the left. It would be just the cell uh, here, R15. Okay. We ask Excel to identify what is the value here, the number, the numeric number here in cell R15. Okay. And only select those ranges, ranges here in column B that contains the same information. Now the third argument asks us to specify what is the column, what is the cell range that we would like Excel to add values. Okay. By default, if you do not specify this, it will just add the cells that are specified in the range in the column B. But in this case, obviously we would like um, Excel to add values in a different column, that would be the column H. Right? So the range, instead of um, column B, we would like to specify it is column H. Okay, and let's press enter to complete this sum if. Say uh, what we need to do next is to specify, yes, this would be um, currency data. And we can scroll down for the auto view so that we don't have to manually type. 
those、um, formulas again and again. That way, you can track to see whether、um, the comments look fine. Right? It seems so. So the next function I would like to introduce is the XLOOKUP. If you have any prior experiences working with VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP works in a very similar way, but it, it is easier because it does not require us to look for a specific column index.、Uh, let's see. So、uh, the weak number here would be on column C. Okay. It says it says that on March first is on the、um, at the ninth week, week nine. And if we scroll down, we would say we would see March second still week nine, but March third would be at week ten. Okay, it is really time consuming if we would like to manually type this information, but it would be easier if we ask Excel to look look up those information and return the value in a different column. Okay, of course we can do this using VLOOKUPs. Okay, if you are not familiar with VLOOKUP at all, it is okay. Okay, I'm just showing how to do this using. A formula that、um, most of us should be really familiar with. You can just type VLOOKUP first, okay? And the lookup value we would specify would be this cell here, um, R, fifteen, the date, and the table. Okay, we would like ask, we would like ask、um, Excel to look for would be something here, um, in the raw data, and. Be really careful because VLOOKUP asks that、um, the dates information would be always the first column in far left column, so、um, it would be the first to choose, and we always scroll to the right until we see that the week column that information we would like Excel to return、um, has been included. Of course, you can choose the whole table. That that is okay, but、um, two columns now are enough. Okay, now we are going to specify the column index. Okay, column index means if we define column B as the first column, what is the column number for the second one? It will be、um, the second from the left, right? So we do specify. This is the second from the left, and we would like to specify whether we would like a approximate match or a exact match. So yes, we want exact, but we would like to type false instead. That completes our、um, search. Okay, a different way of using this function would be using X lookup. XLOOKUP works quite similar, but it does not ask ask us to count how many columns、um, there has to be in between. It does not require us to specify the column index. Instead, XLOOKUP、um, asks us to specify the the range to look for and the range to return. As always, the first argument is the lookup value, which would be the date information. And now we are asking、um, Excel to specify what is the range we would like Excel to look for. Okay, it would be the column B. Return value would be the column C. Okay, and Next, those are optional ones. Say,、okay. what if there were no、um, information can be found in column B that is corresponding to the value we specified? Now, in this case, we might、uh, want Excel to show a、um, 
information that we specify. In this case, um, let me see. Let me separate this with a comma first. And now I would like to see a show not found. Okay, that is the next argument. And then next, those are optional ones. You don't have to specify, but I really suggest you know what those number um, 0, minus 1, 1, 2, uh, what those number really means. Okay. Uh, usually we do use the default exact match. Say if, if nothing is found, uh, returns the default. Um, don't look for the next smaller or next larger number and do not use wildcard character match. This is the default that we usually use. Okay, we can do zero. And next, it is also a optional search mode. Say, so, um, how about we ask Excel to perform a search starting at the first item from the top? Okay, from first to last, and we can specify the opposite way. Search from the last item to the first item. Okay. Or we can specify that if the data is sorted, then we can ask Excel to do a um, binary search. But um, in this case, specifically, we would like to use the default, just zero. Okay, and um, we can just scroll down to auto fill. Another thing I would like to mention is that it is okay to use column numbers. As long as this column only contains the date information. If not, maybe we need to um, select the range uh, manually. Say that we have to type B2 and uh, on the last cell would be B, say, a thousand. The last would be a thousand two hundred ten. Okay, if we have not cleaned your data, in those cases we might have to specify the specific range. But um, in this case, just the column number is fine. And uh, for the cells in between, it really asks us to. Uh, find out how many orders um, this operator has worked on on that particular day. So the function that we will use is the count. Okay, we would like to count based on a specific day and also based on the name of the operator. So that's going back to the sum ifs. Okay, you can do it yourself because we have introduced a count ifs and a sum ifs.